Hi, I'm Mike Stanton. It's March 15th. This is the BAM Weekly Muni Market Update here with Morgan Fahey from BAM's Capital Markets Desk. Morgan, thanks for being here this week. Thanks, Mike. So a week where we saw the muni market kind of doing its uh, core business, a lot of focus on new issues, a lot of focus on financing infrastructure, um, some modest economic news in the fixed income markets, uh, inflation readings came in slightly higher than expected. How did you see people respond? Sure, Mike. So the market was definitely focused um, on the economic data, especially prior to next week's Fed meeting. Um, we saw CPI come in at 0.4% for the month earlier in the week. And then on Thursday, we saw PPI come in at 0.6%, which was higher than expected. And we did see Treasury yields sell off on the back of this. Um, you know, it seems like the general consensus is that the Fed doesn't need to be in a rush to start cutting. And the market seems to be talking now about, you know, maybe July for the first move. Next week, you know, it is the Fed meeting, but the Fed's expected to hold rate steady for the fifth consecutive meeting and, you know, most likely share kind of that continued wait and see policy approach moving forward, you know, as they kind of continue to monitor economic data. But as of this morning on the week, um, treasuries were about 20 basis points wider with the 10 year about a 431 and the 30 year around a 444. And munis didn't respond quite as actively, right? The, uh, but that's after a couple of weeks of munis uh, underperforming treasury. Exactly. So on the muni side, we saw inflows again this week around 295 million, according to Lipper. We saw continued, you know, light sell pressure and bid wanted activity. And as of this morning, munis were about five basis points wider on the week. So, you know, held in pretty well. Um, and, you know, we saw the 30 year ratio as of this morning back at about, you know, 81 and a half percent of treasuries from about 84 percent last week. So a bit of a move there. And 30 year visible supply at the beginning of the week was as high as it's been all year. This was another heavy week, uh, $10 billion plus of new issues. What did anything stand out to you on that front? Definitely. So, um, you know, headline for sure was, you know, what was going on in the primary market this week. It was very busy um, around 11 billion with a couple of large transactions with the Common Spirit deal and also the dormitory authority of the state of New York, which were both around 3 billion and both were very well received in the market. Um, you know, kind of continuing that positive trend for the primary market and, you know, from what we've been seeing and how, you know, these larger supply weeks are being digested. So that is, you know, continued positive news for the muni market. Um, BAM had some nice activity this week as well, pricing around 100 million across nine series in seven states. And just a couple deals um, to highlight here were the 39 million Moorhead State University deal in Kentucky, which was priced by Stonex Financial, and then the 16 million Comstock Public Schools in the county of Kalamazoo, Michigan, which was bought by Raymond James. And one other, the uh, Conway County Regional Water Distribution District out in Arkansas, another BAM Green Star transaction for $12 million uh, priced by uh, Cruz and Associates. So looking ahead to next week, as you mentioned, it's interesting, you know, for the last few cycles, we've seen muni market new issue supply fall pretty dramatically in Fed weeks. People have been wanting to avoid the Fed meeting. This week, that's not as dramatic. It is down a lot, down, uh, I think it's about five and a half billion last time I checked. Um, but uh, that's, that's certainly higher than it's been, again, reflecting the fact that people are not really expecting much out of this Fed meeting there. They think the Fed's on hold for an, another few months. Uh, anything stand out to you uh, from the BAM insured calendar? Um, sure. So there's going to be a 72 million Marshall County Board of Education in Alabama, which is going to be priced by Raymond James that we'll be watching here. Very good. Well, thanks for your time, Morgan. Have a great weekend and we'll talk to you soon. Thanks, Mike. You too.